going to observe how we are measuring the waveforms using key side power supply key side digital storage oscilloscope and key side function generator or waveform generator so first let us set the power supply so here we are we are having three channels so let us use any one of the channel so here the channel 3 is highlighted so we are we have set the channel 3 so now we are going to uh, set 12 volt fixer dc 12 volt click 12 and enter so 12 volt is set and this switch on button will enable the 12 volt dc power from the key side power supply dc power supply so now coming to the settings for key side waveform generator now we are going to use two channels we will set the function uh, message and the carrier waveform using both the channels so here we have channel 1 setup and channel 2 setup so let us switch on channel 1 and so here the yellow button yellow color is highlighted so which indicates its channel 1 is highlighted and uh, before we set the function frequency and the amplitude first let us set the waveform setup the impedance output load setting initial setting should be set to high impedance so here I am giving high impedance so you can see that the indication is showing sine wave high impedance I'm changing the waveform to the second channel so see here the green color is highlighted this is for the second channel now here let us observe the impedance setup click on setup change the output load setting high impedance so now the 50 ohms is changed as high impedance so this is the very basic setting for both the signal waveform generation now let us fix the amplitude and the frequency so I'm going to use the second channel for the carrier frequency so the carrier frequency for the AM signal generation used is in kilohertz range so let us fix 11 kilohertz so I'm coming back click on parameter frequency frequency fix it as 11 kilohertz it's 11 kilohertz frequency is 11 kilohertz 11 kilohertz and amplitude let us fix it as 15 volt peak to peak peak to peak now coming back to the first channel channel 1 so this waveform button will swap the between the two channels so channel 1 setting fix the frequency as 1 kilohertz click on parameter to move to the frequency setting frequency click 1 kilohertz for the message waveform amplitude it is used 2 volt peak to peak so the setting now it is displaying 1 kilohertz and 2 volt peak to peak for the message so the offset is 0 volt phase shift is 0 coming to the second channel carrier signal the frequency is 11 kilohertz amplitude is 15 volt peak to peak so this is the setting for the message and the carrier so this on off button should be enabled so that the signal is received to the breadboard so whenever we are connecting the signal wires to the breadboard the on off button should be enabled to to be received in the breadboard here and we have connected the inductance and now let us observe the waveform in the oscilloscope digital storage oscilloscope so we can give auto scale and adjust the waveforms so this is how we will observe the message signal carrier signal and the modulated waveform in the key side digital storage oscilloscope